Hello and welcome to another Crafternoon to Go program from Westerly Library in Wilcox Park. This month, in celebration of National Library Week, we're making library tote bags inspired by the beautiful Wilcox Park. As always, if you picked up a kit, you should have nearly everything you need to complete the project. If you didn't receive a kit, you can still follow the tutorial at home after purchasing a few materials. Each kit comes with a canvas tote bag, a leaf stencil, assorted acrylic paint colors, a foam brush, and two pieces of cardstock. In addition to the materials in your kit, you will also need some tape to adhere the stencil to the tote. Preferably painter's tape or masking tape, but any tape should work. You may also want a paper plate or a plate covered with aluminum foil to pour your paint onto. Now that you have everything you need, let's get started. Before we begin the project, you may want to give your tote a quick once over with an iron. This isn't absolutely necessary, but it will give you a nice smooth surface to stencil on. Next, place your stencil where you want it and tape it down on all four sides. Insert your cardstock sheets into the bag, making sure that they are behind the stencil. This will ensure that the paint does not bleed onto the other side of the bag. Pour your paints onto a paper plate so you have an easier time dipping your brush into them. Now it's time to paint. Dip your brush into the paint and begin painting on the bag with a downward stamping motion. Continue stamping the tote until you've covered your entire leaf. You can use one color or have fun and use multiple colors for a blended look. For best results, try to hold down the smaller pieces and the inside of the stencil as you stamp so that they don't move around. Once your leaf is covered, carefully peel up a corner of your stencil to make sure you like the coverage. If you do, you can remove the entire stencil. Repeat the last few steps, adding as many leaves to the bag as you want. Allow your tote to dry completely before using it. You can spot clean the tote bag as needed, but I would avoid putting it in the washing machine. And with that, you are done. This tote is great for carrying pretty much everything, but we do recommend using it to carry books to and from the library. I hope you enjoyed your craft afternoon to go. As always, feel free to reach out to us with any questions, comments, or feedback. Call us at 401-596-2877, extension 306, or email reference at westerlylibrary.org.